Get More Traffic Blueprint kind of says what it's all about. It's about getting more traffic. Emphasis is on free traffic, but by definition of free also includes anything that you make money on when you get it. I'm not talking about pay-per-click. We're not even going to cover pay-per-click. There's certain things that I use that might cost me a penny or two, but they don't really cost me anything because it's an investment and I get a return on it. So if I collect a lead for one cent and I can make $160 per person on that list, which I have lists that make me that much money, then I consider that pretty much free. Would everyone agree? Okay, so there will be some things that we work on, especially on Sunday, that you might have to pay one cent for, ten cents for, but we're going to work on conversions. So we've got a couple of guest speakers here. Pablo is here. He puts together, he is a project manager by design, by, by trade, and he puts together a specific presentation to teach you guys how to do project management or outsourcing for internet marketing. Dory Friend is here. Is she in the room? I don't see her. She's going to teach you about incoming links. Bob Silver is my lawyer. And he, hi Bob, thanks for coming. He does a lot of work for me. And in fact, uh, last night we were having a meeting for the seminar today. Someone in that room kept saying, you're the only internet marketer I know that always has his basis covered when it comes to a legal standpoint. He said, everything that you send out has a legal disclaimer. Everything that you run has a legal disclaimer. And people always think it's because I've been burned in the past. Well, no, I haven't. It's because I come from a highly regulated industry as a stockbroker. So I like to protect myself. And Bob also says that I'm one of the few that actually cares about everything, so I run it by Bob. And he's here to help us with sweepstakes and contests because I don't think most people realize that you can't just say, okay, we're having an affiliate contest. The person who has the most sales wins. So he's going to help us out with that. He's got a whole presentation. I have stuff on that too. What we're going to do at this event is I don't think we're going to walk through the manual. The manual is really the step-by-step -step blueprint. If you looked at it, it's very detailed. There's screenshots. It says do this, do that, and it's some of the basic stuff. So what we're going to focus in is we're going to work hands-on. We're going to work with our staff that's here. We're going to build websites while we're here. If you guys need help, talk to my staff. We've got a group of them set up in the back. They can help you out. They're video editors. They are blog builders. They are the jack of all trades. The speakers are here to help you, too. I'm going to show you a bunch of the sites that we put up for this particular seminar itself. It didn't take us long at all. And in fact, we're going to build a site live here. I'm not going to tell you we're going to make $10,000 this weekend. When they do that, they line that up in advance. I mean, they literally line up the JV partners, write the emails, they get the list built before they step in the door. That's not what we're doing. We want to show you how easy it is to get up a website that looks good, that's not spam, and how easy it is to use certain tools, most of them free, to help you get more traffic to that website. We're not doing fancy websites. We will be working with RSS feeds. We'll be working with data feeds, but it's not tough, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. We're going to talk about YouTube. We're going to talk about social web 2.0. Howie is here, and he... Where's Howie? Is he in the room? Nah, he didn't come yet. He's probably sleeping. He flew in. <clears throat> but he's here, and he's going to talk about Web 2.0 promotions. Now, originally, we we're going to do the Web 2.0 as part of this seminar, but then I saw what Howie was doing. I said, wow, we're doing that, but you're actually automating it and setting up with a bunch of great tools. Why don't I just have you come to my event and speak for a couple hours and tell them how to do it? So he's going to teach you about that. We're working with Facebook. We've got Facebook developers on payroll. They're doing Facebook development applications for us. Facebook also announced a PP, uh, PPC campaign a couple of days ago. We haven't had a chance to test it yet, but we're going to try to test it live for you guys here at the seminar. That'll happen Sunday. Uh, what's nice about that is you can actually target it by demographics for as little as a penny. So there's not as much competition as there is on AdWords, and they just launched this thing earlier this week. So you can actually buy, you can go in and say, I want 18 to 34-year-olds who like DVDs about Jessica Alba. Boom, how many people do you have in the Facebook network? And then they start showing ads to those people. So you can actually target anything you want that way, and the starting bid is only a penny, just like the old days with everything else we used to have for pay-per-click. So we're going to do that. We're going to talk about our software developers. A lot of people have problems about how... How to find a software developer to develop a piece of software. I've gone through a lot of bad ones in my career, um, but we have a team now that's pretty good, and anyone can hire them. They're not the cheapest by any means, but they're very good at what they do. So we're going to talk about that. So basically, we're going to show you everything that we're doing. I'm not going to talk about theory. I'm going to tell you stuff that we test and works. We might not have rolled it out to a million-dollar day, but we tested it to make sure it's profitable and that you can scale it out. Okay. Something I want to do is to make sure that you guys know how easy this stuff is. It's not hard at all. I talked to a lot of people that have never used Camtasia. Camtasia couldn't be easier to use. They don't make videos for YouTube because they don't think they can make videos for YouTube. So I was in Costco getting some stuff that we needed for the seminar, and I saw this camera. There's a little sticker on the camera, and it said, YouTube whatever. I said, wow, that's a YouTube camera, which isn't a big deal. It just means it records it in a 320 by 240 format. 
and you can load it directly up to YouTube. You don't have to put it through any kind of an editing process to do it. So I saw this camera and I said, well, I want everyone at the seminar to realize that Web 2.0 is a big part of what we do. It's what we're going to teach this weekend and also in the course for the next six months. It's not the only thing that we do, but it's a great source of free traffic. But a lot of people are afraid of the technology. They say the technology I use is too complicated. It's not. So we bought this camera yesterday. I've never even used it. Justin, do you have it? All right. So <clears throat> we're going to take a quick video, and he's going to load it up to YouTube real quick, and he's going to throw it on a blog that I built for this seminar to show you guys how easy it is. Does anybody here think it's difficult to make videos and edit them and upload them? How many people here have actually done it? How many people here edit videos, upload them to YouTube, iPods? All right, so majority of you haven't. Is it because it's too hard to do? Or tape-based cameras, things like that? I don't need the camera. You're going to take it, so. No, I might need the, I might need the, uh, the codes on. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just show you the whole thing through this whole weekend is show you how easy the technology is. Anthony is my technology guy. I say, you know what, put something together for the group. And I've got a coaching club outside of this. And he's put some things together for that, some software programs. And my other programmer, who is my brother, Mike, which I don't see in the room right now, he's a software programmer too. He also runs one of my help desks. Um, these guys have put together some tools that are really easy to use so you guys can build a blog that gets a lot of traffic, that looks really good, that isn't spam, that you don't have to touch after it's up. Anthony did a real-time video last week for the coaching club. We included it on the video tutorials disc, correct? It was 30 minutes, well, 38, but you installed the ad network also at that time, correct? So he shows you how to install an enterprise class ad tracking system that's free. It's called openads.org. I've been using it for years. It used to be called PHP My Ads New. He shows you real time on the video that's on the disk. Did we hand those disks out yet? Did they get it in? I know we had to duplicate it. But he made a video that shows you guys how to do what we're going to show you here. And he did it real time in 38 minutes, including installing an enterprise class tracking system to show your ads or sell ads for other people. We actually use it in our own business. We've been using it for years. The ads that show up on our networks, we have a central, well, actually we have about five or six centrally installed open ads installations. And they run our AdSense ads, they run our CJ network banners, they run our Amazon banners throughout all of our network sites that we want. And we have multiple installations of it because I own multiple companies and we like to keep it separate. But he shows you how to install that and get a website tweaked up using our tools in 38 minutes. So if you don't, once you install the open ads, you can do it in less than 30 minutes. The important thing is, in your manuals, we gave you very detailed, step-by-step, -step, very basic instructions that you can hand to your outsourcing people, which is a big part of what we're going to cover, too. You can hand them this stuff, and they can follow that step-by-step -step and do these sites. 